Hi and welcome to our third video in the iThemes Builder uh, series for designwebidentity.com. Um, this video is actually on the foundation themes you get with Builder. You actually get a whole bunch of themes when you buy depending on which option you go for. Uh, in this case we've just got a couple of the basic themes we're going to have a quick look at just to just to polish off our editing. In the last couple of videos we covered how you can use the layout and style editor to, editor to really get a customized and unique looking website. What we're going to do is uh, play around with the foundation themes. Uh, these themes are uploaded just like a separate theme except they do rely on the builder framework. So we're going to head into our WordPress dashboard under appearance and themes. As you can see we've got builder here. We've also got a couple of the foundation themes like air theme. We've actually got a couple of pre-existing layouts I've done. What we're going to do is go straight for the original air theme and we're going to customize that. So we'll just activate that theme. As you can see, we've got some options here. We can activate an existing child theme or we can create a new child theme. So for the sake of this video, we'll create a new child theme. A child theme is, as we were explaining before, just another theme that uh, is cop a copy of the original with all your customizations. So since this one's air, we'll call it video air, create child theme. Now we can choose to use the new layouts that come with the theme or the old ones. Now air is a very plain looking, uh, theme it's white and just has a very basic layout so we're going to try and hold on to some of this styling and we're going to see where it takes us and uh, just what other options we have there so we'll just keep current layouts and views okay back to the start here so now we're just going to refresh this page we haven't done any editing yet so it's going to be a bit of a surprise to see how it turns out as you can see, the theme is looking much the same as before, just with a few slight differences. Um, so let's just take a bit of a look at some of the different options we're going to have using that air theme. Now these aren't huge differences, but enough to uh, really just give you that last little tweak that you may want. So we'll head into layouts and views. We're going to head down to the right sidebar. Okay, and we're going to head to our image module. Um, as you can see, the image is much the same as before, but there's actually a few more options when we go to modify settings. If we go in here, we can see we have a style here, which is default. Now I can choose a full window style and save that. And you may notice that the navigation is also stretched across the page. That's because it also has a similar um, type of style. We can actually use a mobile navigation for that. Save that. And we'll just take a look and see what difference that actually makes. So we'll save that one again and we'll refresh this page. As you can see, that image is now across the entire width of the page. So when I shrink that, that image will shrink proportionally with the rest of the page. And also the navigation will turn into a mobile style menu. You click down, you'll have to style these in the style manager, but you've got a little menu there. So this is really handy if you're creating a website you want people to be able to look at on their mobile phones, smartphone, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty handy little extra you've got there. Now obviously there's a bit more styling that has to be done to sort of fix this stuff up here, but uh, we're not going to sort of get into that too much at the moment. Uh, we just want to look at some of these differences. So there's also, there's a lot of these settings don't actually carry over to some of these other areas. Like you can see they're mostly just inset, but you really just have to do a bit of exploring to see the difference. So we'll head back into the image here. And we've got a no spacing style, so we'll save that. Save layout and continue editing. And we're just going to refresh again. So you see you now have the same image as you had before, except without the space between it and the content. So that gives you a, a really nice way of uh, having a bit of a play with that and just tying everything together as opposed to having everything spaced out. Now Air also has a few different layouts for the blog here which we'll just have a look. We'll start off at the top, we've got the featured image grid and showcase. Now I haven't got any featured, we've got a lot of posts here to play with so we're just going to have a look and see how this turns out. Since we've only got three posts the the result may not be, as fan, may not be fantastic but you'll get the idea. So we'll just refresh that page again and you'll see each post is now a thumbnail with the title underneath, which can be pretty cool if you don't want to have the, the same generic look as a lot of other websites. You can also change that to a magazine style layout. 
and refresh again. And now we've got a similar thing again, except we've got the title and a bit of an excerpt with the read more button. So these are all the many different ways you can sort of style these this blog post page using some of these foundation theme options, and uh, that way you can you can get something really unique. So uh, they're only very basic those differences, but like I said, just something it's something to help you finish the tweaking the look of your website now. We're going to look into another part of the foundation themes. We'll go back into themes. We're going to try a different theme, something that's a little more stylized. For example, we've got the foundations theme here. So we're going to activate that. So we've got that foundation video, create the child theme. Only this time, we're going to use allowed and views included with the theme and update. And we're back to the beginning again. So we're going to go back over to our website and then refresh the page once more. You'll notice a completely different look. Some of our styling is actually still present there on the page. You'll notice that obviously the text is still white. Our nav is actually quite small for some reason. Some of it, just bits and pieces. Our background is still there. So you can actually simply go into your style manager and we can actually delete that style, but I don't want to do that yet. So I'm going to create a new style. We're going to make that global. I'm going to call it new. So you can actually basically reset things way back to the original style. So I'll save that. Refresh this page. And you'll notice you've got a new style you can play with. Now this style is actually not all that different than the other website that we were working on. There's a couple of minor differences, but if you look at the background, it's very similar. We've got a nice little image across the top here. This could be in change with any image. Uh, everything's nicely spaced. Once again, we can go back into layouts and views if we want to and change the way that the blog is set up simply by going to right. Sorry, blog. As you can see, the name has changed because you're using a different child theme. And there's a few different extensions. Once again, we can try the featured image slider, which is different again from the last theme. We'll head back and refresh. Now that's taking a bit of time to load. You can see we've got a nice slider at the top of the page now. So it's got our blog tile and image, and we actually click to slide to the next featured image, which is actually a yeah, fairly, fairly nifty little option there. We've only got the one post on it at the moment, but um, that's something we can look at later. Um, once again, you can change to a magazine style layout, that sort of thing, which I'm sure is going to be quite similar to the other one. For refresh. So you can see each one has its own little tiny customizations you can use. Uh, some will look better than others, and it's just then up to you to simply change some of the images and the headers around, the navigation, background, and colors to get the final look you're after. So uh, we'll have a look at one more. Uh, we'll head into themes again. And this time we're going to try the bonsai theme, which is a bit different than what the other ones we've been looking at so far. Same as before, we're just going to create a child theme. Use the current layout. I'm going to use a new layout from the theme. Okay. And we're going to refresh and see what the theme has given us. As you see, once again, a completely different layout all over. Now, like I said before, we can go back and change some of those same options. These are going to be much the same as the last. I'm not going to sort of go too deep into it. But um, just for the sake of things, let's say we want to make the website a little more narrow. 780 pixels. We're going to try the featured image grid and showcase. And uh, let's see if we've got any other image options here. No sidebars, a link URL. We can set the height manually, which is actually not, not, not unique to this theme because this theme doesn't seem to have as many customizations. Let's make it say 30 pixels. This is probably not going to look fantastic, but uh, just something to see just how much customization we have with this foundation theme. Save. 
refresh. Once again, we've got a new unique looking theme. Nice little images here, sort of thing. So once again, yeah, you can have a play around. Because we've cropped, we've sort of changed the height of that image, we've actually cropped that image. So that gives you an idea of just what can happen if you've got an image that has a little bit too much uh, space at the top and bottom. Instead of cropping it in a photo program, you can simply change the height, although I still recommend cropping the photo for smaller file size and performance. And um, we'll head into the Style Manager now. So this is just like a, another slate you can play with, and change the colors around. As you'll see in the Style Manager here, we'll go to New, Site Background, and we can actually change that image to something else. Let's say we'll try try the blue image again. This is probably not going to look very good, but it also just demonstrates once again how easy it is to go back and change any part of your theme. So that looks a bit funny there. So we'll get say the navigation again. We'll make the background a dark blue, that sort of thing. Now we'll save that. Refresh. Once again, a completely different looking website. So once again, also responsive. You can see these thumbnails rearrange and it's it's really quite cool. Obviously you need to spend a little bit more time than I have to, to find iron out the tweaks. Uh, obviously part of the design could be with what widgets you put here, whether they be your pages, categories, or even an image linking to a page on your website. Um, it's really quite powerful. And while this final uh, website here doesn't look anything spectacular. I hope that you've sort of got the idea of the level of customization you have. So, um, but it doesn't end just at the look of the website here. There are other options which we'll explore. So we'll just head back here and we'll go to my theme settings. So you see, you've got a few different ideas here. What you can do, you can build different menus that to put throughout your website. You can insert code if you're using Google Analytics or something that requires you to insert a header code. You've got different areas here to paste those codes. You can choose an icon that will change this default B builder icon. You can actually upload your own image and um, go from there. I don't have an image set aside, so just for the hell of it, we'll change it to a star. You've just got so many options here um, just to really, once again, fine tune and get, the, get what you're looking for, theme features. This is something you sort of really need to have a play with to see what you can get. So we'll just save those settings and have a quick look. But as you can see, this icon has changed. If I refresh this page, the icon has changed to a star there. So there's a lot, there's a lot of little bits and pieces you can do. There's also other modules you can add. There's an SEO module which allows you to put in your meta tags for the site title, page title description, keywords, that sort of thing. Um, not something we're going to cover in this video series. This is more primarily about the design of your website, but it does allow you to sort of avoid using certain plugins like All-in-One SEO, which is a fantastic plugin. I use it on a lot of websites, but if you use something that's more tailored to your theme, it can help improve performance, that sort of thing. So as you can see, you've got a few different areas here. Like You can set up the import and export, so you can actually export theme data, things like that. And that way you can sort of send different theme layouts and designs to other websites if they have to build a theme. So yeah, that's, uh, that, that's really, that's pretty much everything, but it's really a matter of spending time and really adding that personal touch. So you can see, you can adjust just about any part of your website quite easily. And um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can send me an email by jumping on the website, uh, www.designwebidentity.com slash builder. And um, you can leave a comment or send me an email through the contact form area there. Or follow me on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash designwebidentity. If you're keen to get stuck right into this builder theme, head to designwebidentity.com slash download builder. And from there, you'll be able to get started. So once again, thanks for watching the video and have a good day. See ya.